Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make a GUI exit button uh, for your MATLAB GUIs. So, the if you haven't already, take a look at my MATLAB, or take, out my, take a look at my Make a GUI video uh, to see how I make this GUI. I'll post that link in the description. I've already, already deleted the comments and added my own uh, initialization and callbacks uh, headers here, so I'm not going to go through that. So the first thing I want to do is take a look at the, uh, the GUI or the GUI manager, the guide here, and just show you what the GUI is going to look like. So here we have uh, just some static texts uh, that are showing what variables I'm going to be using and putting into my base workspace uh, over here, so they really don't do anything. Then I have my exit push button, and you can take a look at the tag because it's important. So the tag says push exit, so you'll see that's what the callback uh, tag is. And then I also have, the if I just click in the figure, anywhere in the figure here, you can take a look at the tag here and it's going to say figure exit button and that's going to be used for deleting the figure. So those are the two important uh, things to take from here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set up the, the variables that will be available in the base workspace when the GUI is created. So I'm going to, uh, just like the static text says, I'm going to use A equals 4, B equals 5, C equals 7, and then I'm going to make sure that these variables appear in the base workspace over here when I uh, load the GUI when I press F5 uh, to make the GUI. So I'm going to assign these into the base workspace. So I'm going to assign A in to the variable A. I'm going to assign B into B, and I'm going to assign C okay, into C like that. Okay. So those will be available when I when I uh, when I call the GUI. And they'll be made available into the base workspace. Um, there's no initializations because the static texts don't have any initializations and neither does the push button, so there's nothing in this section, I just have it here for completion. And then in the callbacks, the only callback is the actual push button, so remember the tag was push exit, and it's the callback for push exit. So there are a few things that I do when I press the exit button. The first thing that I want to do is to clear the command window, so I'm going to clear the command window, and that's just your standard CLC. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to clear the variables in the workspace. So I'm going to make a string called clear string, and I'm going to clear all like that. And then the way to clear variables in the base workspace is you have to evaluate them into the base workspace. So you have to evaluate this string into the, into the base workspace by using eval in into the base, and we're going to evaluate oops, this string. So that's going to clear all the variables in the base workspace. And then the last thing you want to do is to delete the figure. So if you remember the tag, we're just going to use the delete handles and it's going to be figure exit button, just like that. So I'm going to save that and this should be everything. So if I run this, you see the GUI pops up. All the variables that I initialized before the GUI popped up are in the base workspace. So you have the A, B, and C. And when I press the exit button, it should clear all of these out of the workspace. It should make this go away because it's clearing the command window and this window should disappear because I'm deleting the figure. So you can see that everything disappears, this disappears, and the figure's gone. So another way that you could do this, instead of using that, is to use another clear string. And you can clear theirs except, and I'm going to clear uh, everything except for A. So B and C will disappear, but A will stay. So you can see it pops up again. Here are variables, and I'm going to exit, and you can see B and C disappear. And another thing is to add B into here to clear multiple variables. So that means that... Uh, or to save multiple variables, so that means that A and B are going to stay here when I press the exit button, and only C disappears. So I use this, the clear of errors, except uh, I use this in my codes because I have a large database loaded in that I want to retain when I press the exit button, so that I don't have to wait for it to load again if I open up the GUI again. So this is your basic standard uh, GUI exit button, so thank you for watching.